Rim Country News brought to you by Jake's Corner Bar and Grill. Same stop, different horses since 1916. And by Terlucas and Brandt CPA PLLC, with a long history of providing quality CPA services right here in Rim Country. On this Wednesday, November 3rd, for Tano TV, KRIM Radio News, and Global Trails Media, I'm Randy Roberson with your Rim Country News headlines. Well, there were more DUI arrests on Halloween in Arizona this year than the past two years combined. That according to a report released earlier this week by the Arizona Governor's Office of Highway Safety. They say from uh, Friday through Sunday, 404 people were arrested on suspicion of driving under the influence of those arrests. 72 were for extreme DUI, meaning that they had a blood alcohol content of 0.15 or higher. During the holiday last year that spanned Friday and Saturday, 260 people were arrested for DUI, with 52 being cited for extreme DUI. The average known blood alcohol content of those arrested over this past weekend was 0.152. Again, the legal uh, blood alcohol limit in Arizona is 0.08. The report also noted that 104 people were arrested for driving under the influence of drugs. That's up from 60 in 2020 and 39 in 2019. Law enforcement conducted a total of 5,217 traffic stops compared to 4,357 last year. And in news from just a little south of us on the Tano National Forest, last year's bushfire devastated much of the area around the Four Peaks Wilderness Area, resulting in the need to expand maintenance efforts to include restoration work as well. Well, these uh, incredible photographs document the site before and after the fire, as well as the work done to rehabilitate the land. This weekend, you might want to consider taking some time out of your day to contribute in the efforts to maintaining and improving the beauty of the forest lands that we've all come to know and enjoy. Now, this year's Four Peaks Restoration event is taking place this Saturday and Sunday. Now, Saturday's Four Peaks Cleanup event is scheduled for 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. with a lunch served at 11 a.m. Now, Sunday's Save Our Saguaro Revegetation event is scheduled for 8 a.m. to noon. Organizers say be sure to arrive early for each event in order to complete registration. By the way, Four Peaks Brewery has adopted this site and will be working with the National Forest Foundation and the Tano National Forest to maintain it going forward. Now, you can show your support by signing up on Four Peaks Brewery's event page on Facebook. All you have to do is just look for Four Peaks Brew slash events on Facebook and you'll find them. You can also call uh, Rose Henderson for additional information on the Four Peaks Restoration event and other volunteer opportunities on the Tano National Forest by dialing 480-610-3336. Well, coming up in Rim Country weather, quiet and warm weather is expected again today here in Rim Country. We'll let you know what you can expect for the rest of your week coming up next. You're watching Rim Country News. Jake's Corner Bar and Grill. It's not just a bar, it's a destination. Jake started out as an Arizona stage stop way back in 1916, and folks have been stopping here ever since. Jake's also has been famous as a popular stopping spot for travelers headed to Rim Country or Roosevelt Lake. But as more people discover this historic stop, more and more, it becomes the destination. It was even featured in the 2008 movie Jake's Corner and later featured at the Sedona Film Festival. Ice cold beers from the tap, imported or specialty beers, a generously stocked full bar, and great food that keeps you wanting to come back again and again. Enjoy a game of pool inside or step out and enjoy the covered patio and outdoor bar with live entertainment and much more. We hope to see you soon at one of the most historic stopping spots in Arizona. Jake's Corner Bar and Grill. It's not just a bar, it's a destination. Hello, this is Brian Bowman. We have Pace and Tire Pros and Automotive. And one of the best things about having a business in town is the local community. Uh, we found Terlucas and Brandt to do our taxes. Amy's been a critical component for our business to be successful. We are very thankful for them and their professionalism. So if you're looking to have somebody do your taxes and you want to find somebody good that's willing to work with you, Amy is awesome. Terlucas and Brandt is who we suggest.
Well, taking a look now at your Rim Country seven day weather forecast. A period of quiet weather is going to continue across northern Arizona through the end of this work week, with high pressure being the dominant pattern. You can expect daily highs to warm each day starting today with temperatures around 10 degrees above normal by the end of this work week. Now heights decrease with increasing southwest gradients and that will be bringing afternoon southwest breezes by this coming weekend with temperatures cooling a few degrees over the weekend as well. A trough will swing across the area on Monday and Tuesday and bring a return to more seasonable temperatures and, you guessed it, more southwest winds and it'll be dry as well so really just some nice weather for the next few days meanwhile highs and lows around rim country today well they should be looking something like this here in payson it'll be sunny with a few light breezes and a high near 72. tonight it'll be mostly clear with our low down around 44. up on top of the rim at clint's well now they're shooting for a high today right around 61 degrees and a low up there tonight getting down to just below freezing dropping down to 31. Down in the deserts of Tano Basin well they'll be heating things up a little bit today they're looking for 84 for a high down there today and tonight down there a little different than here in Payson where we really don't have much in the way of wind in our forecast for tonight but down in Tano again a little bit different uh, it's going to stay mostly clear, just like it will be here, but it's going to be a bit breezy with a west and northwest wind 10 to 15 miles an hour becoming light and uh, variable after midnight tonight. The National Weather Service out of Flagstaff says that winds down in Tano Basin tonight could be gusting up to 20 miles an hour. And the low down in Tano Basin tonight dropping down to near 51 degrees. And that's what's happening around Rim Country. For Tano TV, KRIM Radio News, and Global Trails Media, I'm Randy Roberson. Make it a great hump day Wednesday.